My name is Kelly Korak. I study the sun. I'm an astrophysicist that studies the sun. An eclipse is when the moon passes in front of the sun and casts a shadow on the earth. That's a uh, that's a total solar eclipse. The last time we saw one in our area, uh, a partial eclipse was 2017. Tell us why that was different, why that was just a partial, and again, how this will be different. So only a part of the uh, sun was taken up by the moon's shadow. Um, and what's different in this time is it happens to be that the uh, sun, the moon, and the earth are aligning with Ohio and they're uh, able to, the moon is able to completely block out the sun. Some of our viewing area is going to see totality, but pretty much all of Ohio is gonna at least see some effect, right? The light will start to get weird. Shadows will form. Um, it will get a slightly darker uh, than a normal than a normal day at the normal time. And then those uh, lucky enough in the path will have total darkness with uh, just what looks like twilight all around the horizon. Um, and you'll be able to see that solar corona. Um, there's five planets that you can possibly see. You'll see stars come out. So it'll be a very uh, unique experience. The planets that you can see in totality, Mercury will be very faint, um, the, but you will be also, also able to see Mercury, Venus, um, Mars, Saturn, and Jupiter. So they almost line up exactly with where the sun and the moon are going to be. If it's cloudy here, yes. we'll still notice uh, that something's going on, right? We'll notice it'll get dark, right? It'll get darker and it'll get cooler. So there will be a, a an effect. And you know, if it is if it is clouded, I'm encouraging folks to um, either watch a broadcast online line so that you can see it um, through a different um, through a different venue, um, or you know, really just look around and see what are the differences. Uh, you can experience it just in a different way when it's cloudy. I study the sun and the space weather that it creates. So it goes through these cycles where it creates weather and uh, things that explode and come off the sun and come towards Earth and can affect our power grid, can affect our satellites, um, can affect our communications. And uh, so we want to learn more and more about this. And through the eclipse, we get the moon to be able to cover up the disk of the sun. And we're able to see these things that flow off the sun that create the weather. Um, so we're doing many different um, ways to view this. We're flying WB-57 planes outfitted with special instrumentation to take images of this so that we can better study the outflows from the sun. Um, we're also launching rockets and uh, into the eclipse and being able to study the layer of the atmosphere called the ionosphere, um, where all of our communications go through. And why is that all so important? All of this information is so important because space weather does affect our daily lives. It can affect our GPS signals. It also could affect a power grid. So we're so dependent on electricity. The sun touches everything. And as scientifically interesting as it is, it also affects our food production. It affects our mood. It affects our fashion. Um, so it's really a celebration of all of those things and the science of the sun. This must be like uh, kind of Christmas for you, right? <laughs> this is this is like Christmas and the Super Bowl and everything all rolled into one. I'm so excited to see um, to see the corona in this active state. I'm so excited to see other people experience this for the first time and share that with, with the nation. It's really an honor and a privilege. And this whole year really um, has been great in able, uh, being able to share my love for heliophysics with everyone.